Alright, since a lot of students request about the Earth as sphere, which is, a, I think, the last second topic at Form 5, uh, Modern Math. Alright, so I decided to remake the video for this topic. Actually, I did make quite a lot of Earth video in like six years ago. So, okay, let's do it again. Alright, so first thing is, um, I will need to teach you how to read the angle. Because in this topic, the how to read and how to coordinate or how the position move, this is the two thing I will say this is two major thing for this topic. So right now in this video, maybe I will focus on how to read first. Um, I try to make this video a bit easy to understand. So I will you imagine if you ha have a sphere here, I trying to like open up the sphere, make it into a, re a rectangle. Alright, so okay, you kind of need to imagine. Okay, so therefore it will kind of become the uh, x-axis and y-axis because it's easier for you to understand. Alright, so I I make this y-axis as the green ridge meridian and the x-axis as my equator and you imagine if the whole thing here if I like flow it together it will become a ball it will become a sphere it will become our earth all right so basically what I do is this earth here I just like open it up it will become a rectangle all right then Okay, what is Greenwich Meridian? Greenwich Meridian basically is the zero degree for longitude. That means you want to know like your angle for longitude, you basically you need to find where is the Greenwich Meridian. Alright, then what is equator? Equator basically is the zero degree for your latitude. So that means you want to know your latitude, you basically need to know where is equator, but equator is a very easy, always located at the middle of the Earth. Alright, so later we can see about where is the equator and Greenwich Meridian. Right, right now, you have to understand is like, now my axis actually is basically calculated by degree. Alright, degree, the angle. Alright, so for latitude, right, your maximum maximum degree for latitude here is 90 degree so you kind of get the idea you have 10 and then you have 20 you have 30 you have 40 50 60 70 and up to 90 so from equator if we if we go to the north do you see this is going north right at least you should know where is the north east, south, west, right? So if you're going north 10 degree, so this line, this line itself, we call it 10 north. Because I from the equator, I going north. I from the equator, I going north, I going up 10 degree. This line itself is called 10 north. So therefore, if I from the equator here, I going up 40 degree. I from the equator, from this line is equator, right? I going up, I going to the north 40 degree. So this line is called 40 north. Can, un can understand, right? So if I from the equator, I go all the way to the 90, then last line over here we call 90 north. So far so good. Alright, so therefore, from the negative side, basically here is the negative 90. Or we can call the last angle here as a 90 south. Because from the equator, we're going to the south. You can see south is going down, right? So this is south. So therefore, if here is like 55 degree from the equator, then this line we call it 55 south. Okay, so if like from the equator going down 90 degree, 
then you will have 90 sal. Right, when I say this is maximum and this minimum means what? In your urge here, you will not have the 91 or 92 or 93. You don't have any anger more than 90 north and you don't have any anger more than 90 south. I will explain further when, when, when we draw out the earth, all right, because this is three dimension. I try to use a two dimension to explain the three dimension thing. So it might be a little bit confused, but you just stick with me first. All right, so you right now, at least you understand about latitude. Latitude is from 90 south, go 90 degree to equator. And then from equator, go 90 degree to 90 north. Right, so if any angle from equator go up 40 degree to the north, then it's 40 north. If from equator go down 40 degree to south, then it's 40 south. Okay, north, south. Alright, right now we go to longitude. Longitude uh, have something to do with uh, east and west. Alright, so let me just redo this one. Alright, this is Greenwich Meridian, this is Equator as usual. Alright, for longitudes, basically it's from 0 degree, maximum here will go to 180 degree here. So if this is Greenwich Meridian, if I move like 180 degree to the east, so the last line here, this line we call 180 degree east. So it's from the Greenwich Meridian, I move 180 degree to the west here. Let's say this is 180. This line we call 180 degree west. And you might ask, what about uh, if from Greenwich Meridian, I only move 60 degree here? So you need to see it's actually moved to the east or west. Here is east, right? Because east is going this direction. If going this direction, this line we call uh, 60 degree is all right so you can imagine something like this um, the positive positive side it will be east and the negative side it will be west but this one is only true because you know the Greenwich meridian is at the middle but when we go into the sphere here because the earth can rotate isn't it so your Greenwich meridian will change to any line on the earth so, you, so therefore, you always need to imagine if the middle line is Greenwich Meridian or if you know where is the Greenwich Meridian. From the Greenwich Meridian, if you go to the west here, then you need to see how many angles it moves to the west and it go to the east. So basically, we understand the two dimensions here first. So let's say if Greenwich Meridian here, if you go to uh, 100 degree to the west here, so this line itself is called 100 west. And you might be curious, like, why do I use a line? It's actually it's kind of the uh, same idea to, to the exit we call x equals to negative 100, isn't it? Because what? Because when we say longitude, longitude is not a coordinate. You know, a lot of students will think, oh, maybe this one is a longitude 100 west. No, 100 west is the whole line. The whole line, that means all the point here, at least I know the longitude is 100 west, 100 west, 100 west. Just a different latitude. You can see the latitude is changing, right? But the longitude is still remain 100 west. So therefore, it's the one whole line. Alright, so therefore when I say latitude, that means it's the, the whole plane here is the same latitude, just the longitude is changing. You get the idea? I hope you at least get the idea because I'm going to draw out the sphere. If you do not understand this, when I draw out the sphere, it will be a lot more confused to me, uh, to you. <laughs> right, so let's see what happened. Okay, I draw out a sphere here. Uh, please forgive my ugly drawing. Alright, so... Okay, this... At the middle, this one, this one will be the equator. So this one will be the equator. Equator is just cut your earth into the half that plan at the middle we call equator. 
right this one is something in the middle and this one is always north this is east south west all right so let's say let's say um i kind of uh, uh do it my for myself okay um okay so let's say from equator going up okay let's find this coordinate from equator going up 50 degree all right so this equator you can see it actually move up 50 degree because this is center point this, this is the center of earth so it move up 50 degree equator moving up 50 degree this one we call 50 north okay but we need a longitude Longitude, then we need to know where is the Greenwich meridian. But by the way, 50 north is a one whole plan here. So supposedly you have a whole plan here is the 50 north. Yeah, if you think 50 north is one point, then you are wrong. 50 north basically is all the coordinates are surrounded by this earth. It's called 50 north. So therefore, it's one whole plan. So you can imagine earth, right? If this is equator, it actually is have 90 plan. So it's like 1 north, 2 north, 3 north, 5 north, up to 90 north. So basically you have 90 plan. It look like a circle. And among the circular here, among the circular here, like let's say this is 1 north, every coordinate here is 1 north. Just the longitude is changing. But the whole plan here we call 1 north. So therefore when I say 50 north, Basically, the whole plan here is look like 50 north. And you don't bother about why 50 north is so, so toward the north pole and it's a draw, draw, drawing issue. But at least you understand, when I say 50 north, that means all these coordinates, all these coordinates on the plan here is the 50 north. Do you get the idea? Just the different among them will be a different longitude. Right, then longitude is another thing. So let's say, let's say I draw a line like this. I call this line as a Greenwich Meridian. Okay, if this is Greenwich Meridian, and then I, I tell you from the Greenwich Meridian toward this line, um, from the Greenwich Meridian toward this line, total angle that move is 100. Yeah, it's kind of not so obvious. So you can see, I from this point, I move 100 degree here. Da, 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 I move until here, because this line will, will be the same longitude, right? I say longitude is a one whole line. So therefore, if this is Greenwich Meridian, if I move 100 degree, I move 100 degree to the east here, then they call 100 east. So you might think I move to this coordinate, what? but this coordinate and this coordinate, they have the same longitude. Do you see it? Because 100 east is not only here. 100 east is all the point at this point, at this line. All also is 100 east, just a different at the latitude. But because they have the same longitude, because if I open it up, this line actually is a straight line. So therefore, I've basically what happened here is like this. This is equator. This is equator. You can see I from equator, I going up 50 degrees. So basically, it's 50 degrees here, over here. So this is my, let's say point A. My point A is here. And then this is Greenwich Meridian. And then from the Greenwich Meridian, I actually move 100 degrees to the east then this is 100 east. So therefore, my coordinate A here is 50 north, 100 east. But actually in three dimensions, it's a bit hard to see, but so I always will read it from the center, but depends, sometimes it will not, maybe it will not giving you at the center, but this is how we read it. Of course, in the next video, basically I will try to draw out more different circles to at least give you some idea on how to read the angle. So I guess that's all for this video. I just do not want to teach everything at the same time, just to confuse you. Uh, yeah, so you're trying to digest what I'm teaching in this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.
拜拜。